Hello and welcome to Traders. Today I'll speak about three dividend stocks for February 2023. Nice dividends, nice dividend payments. So let's start with the first stock. It's uh, RBBY. Maybe the first time I'm speaking about this uh, company in my channel. So let's start. Uh, what I think uh, we have here in the chart, in my mind, we have uh, here increasing channel. Now we are trading in the lower border of this channel so most probably if we won't get out uh, from this uh, pattern there is a nice possibility to see this stock higher uh, 180 in this case we can see a nice potential to grow about 15 percent there is uh, the momentum indicator now telling us that uh, we uh, most probably oversold already so now uh, i think it's a nice possibility to consider this stock of course it's a huge stock it's a healthcare company uh, healthcare sector four percent dividend yield and market cap uh, 262 so let's check uh, ABBY fundamental parameters. Its total score is 89, quite high and very, very, um, very nice, uh, very uh, strong uh, total score. ABBY is a pharmaceutical company with a strong exposure to immunology and oncology. oncology. The firm top drug Homira represents close of half of the company's current profit. So uh, its financial position is debt to EBITDA ratio less than 3, interest coverage is 8 and uh, so uh, any problems with debt because the, uh, we can see that uh, all the ratio of debt to equity is 4 so, no, no, so for me it's uh, any problems with debt. The marginality is 60, 69, the gross margin and net margin 23 so any problems uh, I think it's uh, highly highly marginal company by the way the rank of profitability stands from 10. Uh, let's check the growth rate we can see that historical the revenue EBITDA and EPS show a nice grow and for the future uh, three years free cash flow is expected to show a growing 14 percent the P ratio now is 18 but the forward is only 30 so the uh, investors expecting this uh, company to show increasement in profit PS ratio 4 no something special uh, but let's have a look on the dividend. So uh, forward dividend yield 4%, payout less than 1, so here uh, there is a room uh, to increase dividend payment and uh, please pay attention to the 3 year dividend growth rate turning percent telling us that the company continue, continue to increase its dividend payments. So BBY, I think it's nice, uh, it can be a nice purchase for the dividend uh, dividend investors, uh, huge company, healthcare, uh, healthcare sector and of course for the uh, year 4% dividend yield it can be a nice, uh, nice stock, stock to hold. The second one is Coca-Cola, so I think uh, all of you uh, at least once a year is your life uh, States that uh, this uh, uh, this ring. So uh, uh, I think we have increasing uh, channels uh, last since uh, 2008, last uh, 24 years. Uh, now the momentum indicator is in the, the middle of the range, so it's not oversold, nor over bold. Oh, it's a huge company, uh, the same level as uh, BBY, and the dividend yield is about three percent. Let's have a look uh, on the fundamental parameters of Coca-Cola, so P ratio 26, uh, market cap is a big company and uh, we can see that it's very stable. It even increased uh, its net profit margin because uh, 5 years ago it was 4%, now it's, uh, it was 18, now it's uh, more than 25%. Of course it's not Google, not Apple, not Microsoft, it's not IT company, but still the marginality is uh, in my mind quite impressive the payout ratio less than one uh, it's a good sign uh, it, it uh, tells us that not all the net income that company earns it uh, pays dividends so he still there is a room to increase the dividend payment and the EPS earning per share expected to grow and the revenue also expected to grow in the future years so Coca-Cola I think it's a nice uh, nice stock uh, to hold in a dividend portfolio 
uh, not uh, the high levels, not the historical uh, historical uh, highs. So uh, another three three percent dividend yield. It can be nice uh, nice payments uh, uh, in a quarterly basis. And the last stock for today is AT and T, one of my favorite dividend stocks that I'm personal hold in my portfolio. So let's check its uh, chart. It's a monthly time frame. So here I'm expecting that it would be in, in impulse. It was the first wave, the second, the third. Now I think in the fourth uh, wave we finished. It was ABC move, ABC, and another ABC move. Uh, here, 15 bucks. It's a major support level since uh, for last 22 years. Now I'm expecting to uh, this uh, support level, major support level, to his hand and uh, to see a bounce. And uh, then we um, we may see the fifth wave. Usually the fifth wave is higher than the third wave. In this case, the potential to grow is uh, at least uh, at least you know, it can be 200 percent in the few years. Maybe maybe. Anyway, the uh, dividend yield is about six percent. It's a qu it's quite a huge company, and uh, its company this company pays. Uh, only half of, the, of its uh, net income as a dividend. It's very, very good sign for the dividend investors. Uh, the, there are huge room to increase dividend payments. By the way, the marginality increases. So we can see uh, net uh, profit mar margin uh, 12%, uh, 13 and the last uh, quarter it was about 20%. Uh, so very, very good. Uh, by the way, the earnings. EPS is very stable and uh, the the revenue but here the venue revenue I see the forecast is a little bit uh, lower uh, than the in the last years but I think uh, uh, it's not it's not a problem please uh, pay attention to the PS ratio price per share we can see that it's less than one so historically it was a little bit lower Anyway, anyway, the PS ratio around one is very low, and uh, also, except this, now the stock uh, is down more than uh, uh, is down more than. Let me check more, more than thirty percent uh, since its uh, high levels of uh, uh, two years ago. So. Uh, general AT&T six-year dividend yield a huge company it's a tele telecommunication sector uh, uh, communication the same uh, sector is Verizon by the way and uh, of course six percent dividend it can be it can be nice uh, nice uh, stock that every dividend investor may hold in uh, their their portfolio so it was my top uh, three stocks uh, in investing in, in february uh, all of them i think um, should be considered uh, i'm uh, now uh, hold one of them in my portfolio so if you like this video and if you like uh, stock market analysis fundamental analysis stock research so uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel Press like uh, to this video and of course uh, see you on the next time. Bye.